Hello, welcome to today's training video. We will be covering one of the big advancements with the DOT20 upgrade. It is the ability to create a drop list within your auto text. We are going to start by demonstrating how to create an auto text and adding the drop list within the auto text. The auto text windows have been updated. When using the drop down list, the ability to multi select is not available. Only one item can be selected at a time. You can create auto text wherever the auto text icon is located in Dynamic Dock, Power Note, or a communication. Let's begin. And then we're going to navigate to the auto text icon where you can create auto text. The icon is located on your ambulatory workflow page. It's just one of the places. Manage auto text. You also have the ability to create auto text on your dynamic dock. Right here is your icon, Manage auto text. Let's create an auto text. I'm going to select the Manage auto text icon. At first glance, you can see the window has been updated. You have My Phrases and you have Public Phrases. My Phrases, these are the ones that you have built. If you want to add a phrase, you click the plus sign. This will be a new phrase. I'm going to enter my symbol. Then I'm going to name the auto text. The first time I open the window, I'm going to check the box Show Auto Text Notifications and Show Advanced View. Now I can either type my auto text in or I have typed it already in a Word document and I'm going to paste it in. Now I'm going to create a drop list for right, left, and bilateral. The very last icon on the right is drop list. Now I'm going to create my drop list. I want to put my cursor where I want the drop list. I want to click the very last icon, create drop list. Now I'm going to add my items. If I want to rearrange the default, I just highlight, hold down your left mouse button, and drag up. If you want to put in a blank space so you have the ability to free text, you can check this box. It will always be the default. It will always be the very first item. Now I'm going to click Create you can see the drop down is there. Keep watching, I'm going to create two more drop downs. There's my numbers. Now I'm going to create a drop down days, months, and years. Select my create drop list icon. Now I'll put one more drop list right here where my numbers are. Okay, now my auto text with my drop list is created. I'm going to convert it to RTF. This way I can use it in a power note. 
Now I'm going to save my auto text. There's my auto text, subjective need. Once you have an auto text built with drop list, if you want to use the same basic auto text, you can create a duplicate. So on my subjective knee, I also want to create one for the hip. I'm going to create, I'm going to select duplicate, correct the name, take out knee, replace it with hip, convert, so both sides have the same text, save. So now I have two, hip and knee. If I just need to edit, I can create the edit and then change my wording. Okay, I'm going to close my Manage Auto Text, and now I'm going to test it out. There's my Auto Text. It automatically defaulted left. So this happens to be the right. Thank you for watching the video today. If you have any questions about building a drop list within your Audio Text, please reach out to your liaison in your area, or you can always call Informatics. Thank you. Have a great day.